it was, I think, 53-43 a couple minutes in the second half, and then you did allow a field goal for a good while. What, what enabled you to finally put them away? What was the challenge today of, of blowing this one open like you did? Uh, just sticking to our principles. Uh, you know, Coach, uh, all the coaching staff, you know, they work with us. They tell us all the principles defensively. Uh, and, you know, I think that first half we kind of uh, shied away from that. Uh, so I think that was kind of what, what uh, let that deficit kind of go get closer and closer. Uh, so I think overall we just played together. We, we stuck to our principles and really uh, dominated effort plays. You know, that's a big thing that we try to do. So I think overall we just kind of really stuck together and played defense how we know to. Felix, what was more fun for you, hitting a three-pointer or slamming down the alley-oop or blocking a couple shots? Damn, man, it's a three-pointer for me. You know, you know, I dunk every day, so I know dunking is kind of, it gets old, you know, at times. So my first three-pointer for college basketball, so I'm really excited. As a six six players in double digits scoring wise for you today, four all, four freshmen in double digits. So how how fun is it, and how much does it open up you know things for the whole team when that many different guys are getting involved? And it just makes our bench um, more wider, you know. We have um, more guys coming off from the bench, you know, and putting more points, you know, and um, helping the team out. Felix, how much is Zed teaching you how to shoot those threes? Um, yeah, he's he's been teaching me a lot. We've been working out a lot together, you know. So we do our skills together, so you know we um we guess we be competitive. In, in serious note, th how much do you work on that outside game? Because he didn't start that way, but he started to work on it. How much are are you trying to expand outwards at this point in your career? Um, I would say um, we work on it every day. You know, every time we get a time to get in the gym. You know, with the coaches, I give up credit to the coaches. You know, they um starting to work on it early with me. You know, trying to build my drum up. Tanner, how's it been for you, old man? New experience, and good to see you again. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. Uh, you know, it's been a it's been a different transition for me. Uh, so I think overall, you know, just playing my role, uh, Coach Holman's done a great job of uh, keeping us all engaged. Uh, you know, in practice, we all work hard, we all compete, uh, and this team's really deep. You know, we got a lot of freshmen com uh, competing for for spots, uh, and a lot of freshmen who can play. So I think that just makes our team uh, deeper. I think overall, we have a lot of versatility. You know, that's one thing I think everyone who's came up here has said. Uh, so I know, you know, I think that we, we can play with anybody. I think overall, like we're just a very, very solid team uh, in all facets of the game. Felix, you've played a decent amount this season, but I don't think you've been that involved in the offense in any game so far. Other than you know, bringing energy off the bench, what do you think you're bringing to the team when you you're checking in usually for Zed? Um, you know, defense. That's why I check in. You know, try to get more defensive rebound, crash the glass on the offense side. And you um, know, for me, scoring right now is a bonus. You know. I like to do um, the real stuff, like, you know, set screens, you know, um, dabble on the floor, you know, and um, mainly just defense. So I know you guys aren't counting stats. We have no idea what your stats are while you're playing, but when you were three points away from the first ever double-double, was that shot ran for you, or did you just kind of end up in that spot and you're like, I have uh, it, I'm just going to take nah, it? No, nah. they ran the play for me. Because um, I, was, I was open like three, four times, and I, like, I told you, I told D, you know, I'm open. Like, I got you, you know, you, ran, you love to play. Felix, what's the biggest difference for you right now compared to the opener in a game like this? Um, I would say um, I've gotten really comfortable, you know, playing, you know, playing with more intensity and you know, playing freely. And then Tanner, I mean, this team shot 13 three-pointers today. They made 13. Um, for you guys, having only made three at Duke, having some troubles with three-point shot this year, how important was a performance like this today? Uh, it was good, you know, uh, coming off Duke, uh, I think overall we, we knew we should have won that game. We, we really stuck to it. We just couldn't get over the hump of four to five points, I think. Uh, couldn't get it close in a two-possession game. Uh, so, you know, we came back after that, after the flight, watched film, really buckled down. Uh, we practiced hard, really worked on us. Uh, and I think overall, you know, this gives, gives guys confidence. I think overall, you know, going into Big Ten play, this is whenever things really start to get real. Uh, so I think overall, like, it's just a good booster for us. I think, you know, guys came off the bench, shot the ball well, Sean shot the ball well. Overall, I think we all just, we just played our game. I think that's definitely a big thing that we can carry over into the Big Ten, Big Ten play. Tanner, the last four games, the Maui and Duke, it, it have been a little bit more of a struggle for you to, to get to the rim and do some of the things that you've done so well in your career. What has it been like adapting to, to this level and, and seeing some of that firsthand as opposed to you know, seeing it on film and preparing for it? Yeah, I think overall, uh, it's been humbling. Like, 
just to really struggle. I think that's like in, in the craziest way. Like it's been good just to kind of know that everything's not great, everything's not gonna work out how I want it. Uh, and I think that that helps my game expand because I need to try and affect the game in a different way. You know, scoring's not always gonna be something that I'm gonna do. You know, maybe on the defensive side, offensive side, maybe from the bench, just waving a towel. So I think overall, like just just being able to adapt to that uh, role that I had last year uh, and changing it and just trying to be the best best teammate I can be. I think overall that'll be a huge thing that we need. I know Chris Holman has said that uh, he expects your learning curve to be somewhat similar to the freshman, that you're all kind of adapting to this level at, at the same time. Um, what is that like to be a veteran, but also kind of on a similar path to some guys that you have a few years on? Uh, yeah, I think, it, you know, it's always different. I think the biggest learning curve that I've had has been just the system. I think, you know, the basketball side of it, like that's fine. But I think the terminology of, of different schools, you know, that's always changing. Um, you know, how they want to run their defense, offensive plays. I think that's the, the biggest learning curve. I think overall, you know, just going out and playing, like that's not hard. I think all of us can do that. So I think overall, just just the terminology, I think that's the big thing. And I think, um, you know, just getting used to the coaches, getting used to my teammates. Uh, you know, we, we did a good job of that this summer, just kind of uh, being around each other all the time. I think uh, the Bahamas was a great trip for us, uh, just camaraderie wise. So I think that's definitely a big thing. One last question. Felix, yeah. that defensively as a team, you just said how like, you think that's what you, you provide. Um, you have, as a team, some ups and downs defensively this season. Where do you think you guys are as a unit, and how much more potential is there for this team to improve defensively? Um, there's definitely potential. You know, we just got to we gotta be together. We're on the floor on defense. We got to talk more. And um, we got to play with intensity, you know. We gotta play rough. I, don't, I know it sounds crazy, but sometimes we, we come out and we let them punch us in the face first. And I feel like when we start the game, we gotta we gotta start strong, you know, and nicely and tested.